Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are talking about why FNAF isn't scary anymore. When I say scary, I don't mean scary full stop, or period if you're weird. I mean how long it takes for the initial fear to wear off. Because I know as a real scaredy cat, I do still get scared by these games, but if you're tough, maybe, sure, you won't get scared by them anymore. But anyway, to figure out why the newer games aren't scary, we need to look at what makes the older games scary. FNAF 1 and 2 were created solely from images and sound effects due to Scott's low budget and short deadline. Scruffy already made a video on FNAF sound effects so I won't go too much into that. These images are just images. They don't move so they're easy to draw and easy to draw realistically. It's because of this lack of movement that gives the animatronics this sense of stiff lifelessness. But that's just it. They do move. You can't see them do it. But they do do it. It's always when your head is turned when you look away from the camera, when you blink. This adds to the lifeless feel, which they are supposed to be. They're animatronics that are switched off and aren't supposed to move like they would in real life. They're big chunks of heavy metal. Smooth, fluid, very animated movement wouldn't fit their character. It would make them feel more cartoonish, more unrealistic. You know anything in a horror game is good when it not only scares you with its jump scares, but leaves an imprint on your mind. It lives with you, and everyday things scare you, things that remind you of the game or film. And the more realistic it is, the more likely it is to correspond with real life. And I believe FNAF 1 and 2 does this very well. The fact that the animatronics are always looming in the background, somewhere, you don't always know where, th that is really creepy, and this effect stays with you. Most of the animatronics jump scares almost jump out of the screen and it can still be quite stiff whilst being effective. The repetitiveness of the first four games is FNAF's biggest issue. Each game becomes decreasingly scary because they all had the same game mechanics. Watch or don't watch certain animatronics. Use your flashlight, but not too much, and stay alive until 6am for five nights in a row. This makes the games eventually become boring and lose their eeriness. Ultimately, they become a video game, just trying to beat the next level. But that's the same with every horror game. If you play it enough, the effect wears off, but not as fast as the newer games. Sister Location was huge when it came out. The game mechanics had completely changed. Instead of being rooted to the spot for the majority of the night, you yourself moved around the complex. Rather than the animatronics coming to you, you came to the animatronics. But that is Sister Location's first issue. You expect it. When you know you're going to get jump scared, it lessens the fear factor a whole lot. Which is why the older games worked so well, because most of the time you weren't expecting it. In Sister Location, when the animatronics jump scare you, they don't jump out of the screen. They jump in front of the screen and open their face. The faces that you're meant to fear aren't even the thing that jump scare you. The face you've been worried about this whole time isn't even the last thing you see before you die, which makes the whole jump scare and the animatronics less scary. And the animation, it's too smooth, it's too cartoonish. There's too much of it to feel real as the older games. The characters move just like you do and you can see them do it so you know exactly how they're getting around. It becomes less creepy. They have life to them. FNAF VR was a train wreck honestly. Unless you're in VR it's not scary at all. I get that it's harder to turn out good in VR but still. I would have praised it more if it didn't have its own law, so it was solely just to play the older games but in VR. Now FNAF 6 is a bit different. I think FNAF 6 was done really well. Maybe it's the contracts of the graphics from the pizzeria to the office, but the graphics do look realistic. I think that's mostly due to the way they're drawn, or wrecked and ruined, and the dim lighting, because their jump scares aren't very good. And maybe it's because they're animated there and it's brighter, but the salvaging scenes are amazing. The animatronics themselves are creepy. But speaking of design, I want to point out that the design for the animatronics in the first game were great to be scary. The sleek design of the fun time and toy animatronics feel like they're trying too hard to be creepy and the nightmares were way over the top. It's like the cliche of what you would consider to be scary, which I, I know is the point. So they're not scary. I have no opinion on the phantoms to be honest. The design of the FNAF 6 office, albeit looks slightly fake, though not as much as the location, is creepy. I think the night shifts were salvaged by the office design and the fact that you can't check your monitor if you're doing jobs. The very upbeat, colourful pizzeria in the daytime and the jokes that actually work because the players aren't scared like in the previous games is like a sanctuary for the player to hole up in until they're ready for nighttime, which can contrast with the sinister 
office but it can also mean the players are ready for the jump scares and the fear because they choose when to do it rather than to be thrust right into it so I don't know what to make of that. But FNAF 6 was a great game. I thought things were looking up for FNAF and the fear factor but then we got Ultimate Custom Night which is literally just a video game level. Pressing different buttons, listening to different sounds and gaining muscle memory. It was all the not scary bits of FNAF put together. Then we got Help Wanted and now we're getting Security Breach. If I'm being honest, doesn't look like it'll be that good in my opinion. It looks very open world which I do like but it feels like it'll be similar to Hello Neighbor which isn't scary. Forget about all your ray tracing and hard work that's gone into the graphics. This is hands down the most cartoonish game besides FNAF World. I think the company doesn't really care about the horror aspect anymore because they know anyone who plays the games now is someone who's been there from the start so the fear won't stay in their mind and they've already been accustomed to the dynamics. But that's just what I think. If you have any other opinions, theories, evidence, analyses then feel free to comment. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching this video. Bye!